Oh. Hello. Good morning. It is time for ice cream. What's good? What to eat the ice cream? Where am I? Humans require ice cream. What is this place? Eat the ice cream. I don't want any more. Eat the ice cream. How long have I been here? You're so hungry for delicious ice cream. Get that away from me. Where's David? Everyone you love is gone. There is only ice cream. What was originally called medically assisted death, the MAID program in Canada, is now being hailed as progress, as so called brilliant minds blinded in delusion rationalize the lie of overpopulation. The adversary, Satan, is patient, subtle, slowly interjecting wickedness into society, into culture, into the minds of those not grounded in Yeshua the Messiah. I'm reminded of an ideology of the samurai. The role of the kamikaze was seen as honorable, noble even, but all very methodical lies of the prince of this world. This world has forsaken the righteous standards of the Most High and replaced them with the standards of the enemy. Our Heavenly Father is the author and the finisher of all creation. As it is written in Psalm 19.1, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork. You see, our Heavenly Father desires us to live a life designed by His will and purpose. But mankind has rejected our Father's love. And as it is explained in Amos 8.11, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Do you understand what this means? It's a warning. It means time is short. Get familiar. Since 2016, more than 13,000 Canadians have chosen a medically assisted death. Now, new legislation recently gave more people access, but some say it's still not enough. Suling Go joins us now. And Suling, you spoke with one woman with just a heartbreaking story. Yes, she lives here in Edmonton and she wants to end her life, but she can't find help. This is actually a supporting a, a euthanasia program to kill the senior citizens. Uh, Wait, when they, if I sign this, am I helping to kill old people, or am I helping to not kill? Yeah, them? you're gonna you're gonna put them down like oh, you put dude, down do this. like you put down your dog. Oh yeah. Dude. And it's um this is like a mandatory because they're draining the healthcare system, so we're gonna just implement a 
a mandatory euthanasia program for terminally ill people, um, birth date and uh, signature. And so we're just uh, supporting mandatory euthanasia to keep the health care costs down to awesome. save our tax dollars. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Thank you. What a callous son of a <laughs> Shalom Malayhem family. As you watch this time lapse of the Super Bowl halftime setup, I want you to be reminded of the speed at which the world is preparing for the coming of the lawless one. In a recent video called Made, Canada's legalized suicide, I shined a light on a sick program to normalize euthanasia, but I never expected the enemy was moving so fast that I would be now only a week or two later reporting on them trying to move forward with yet another sick agenda to suggest forcing euthanasia on a population. In Matthew 24:22. We find a warning, or some might say a welcome promise from our Lord. He talks about the great tribulation and says that if these days were not cut short, no one would survive. In this verse, the word days or time is said to be shortened, or otherwise, the speeding up of time. I believe we also find a parallel in Enoch chapter 80. The book of Enoch chapter 80 verses 2 and 3. And in the days of the sinner the years shall be shortened, and their seed shall be tardy on their lands and fields, and all things on the earth shall alter, and shall not appear in their time. And the rain shall be kept back, and the heaven shall withhold it. And in those times the fruits of the earth shall be backward, and shall not grow in their time, and the fruits of the tree shall be withhold in their time. In this mentioning of the shortening of days and the altering of time and all things on earth, I believe we not only see a parallel with Matthew 24, 22, but also it's been pretty evident in the world's fascination with what's being called the Mandela Effect, a worldly term that I don't like to use, but I can see the changes. In Enoch it says, even the fruits will grow backwards and shall not grow in their time. The first time I noticed this was years ago. In the case of the seasons, the changing of the seasons, I noticed it around fall. And then when I commented about it, people would look at me like I was nuts. I also noticed it in the case of the bananas. What you're looking at here are bananas today. Notice how they grow pointed upward. And in the next photos, the older photos, you'll notice that they grow down, which was the original way. And what you're looking at here is an example of what we call residue. It's like a residual or shadow of a material reality past. Imagine it like deleting your hard drive of your computer. No matter how many times you delete it, clean it, there's still a little trace of data left behind. To find images like this is not easy. You see, you literally have to trick the search engine or AI. You can't type in exactly what you're looking for and expect to find it. You will only find the changes. You literally have to trick it in your search for these types of, of images. When our father speaks of these changes, he said, even the fruits will grow in reverse. So understand something. This is a supernatural change that we're seeing. You can either believe God's word or you can stay blind. 
And again, to be clear, the reason why I'm building a case for these changes is to show that wickedness is increasing exponentially, along with an increase in changes and the speed of time. When we look to Matthew and Enoch, we see a warning about these changes of time and days. And realizing all of this, it wasn't a shock to me when I heard one day that scientists were saying our clocks are off. And they scrambled to find an explanation. And it is in the details that we find contrast between God's scripture and what man says. Because while man says the change of time is due to the earth spinning faster, those who understand biblical cosmology and have eyes to see know good and well that Satan is a liar. The reason I'm highlighting this shortening of days, I believe things are going to begin to move much faster than any of us ever expected. So anyway, let me finish up with the feature presentation brought to you by Crossroads. And in my next video, I'm gonna tie all this shortening of days together and show how it's connected to the coming flood of AI, as my brother David Beverly likes to say. Thank you for your support. Please share, comment, and hit that like button. Welcome back, everyone. Um, some big topics that I want to go into today, also do some breaking news. Um, I want to talk, though, about an article that of all places, well, maybe to be expected, New York Times had talking about the possible need for involuntary, meaning you don't want to do it necessarily, it's forced upon you, euthanasia. Um, typically, we would historically just call that democide or even genocide. Um, the mass killing, in this case, of elderly people because they say there's overpopulation. And they cite a Japanese Yale professor talking about this, who it's, it's a very bizarre story, and they kind of try to write it off as him not really meaning it. But then through the whole article, they suggest that he did mean it, and then they even kind of talk about why we might need something like that. Um, I think it's absolutely ridiculous, but this is where the discussion is going, and I think it's important to address this. Uh, let's jump to the first story. Let's talk about voluntary, invo sorry, involuntary euthanasia. And I wouldn't even call it euthanasia at that point. I think, I think euthanasia is a deceptive word that should just be murder. Um, if you're killing people against their will, we don't call that euthanasia, we call that murder. Um, and if you do it on a large scale, that would be genocide, or if it's by your own government, democide. That is what's being proposed right now uh, in an article by the New York Times. The same publication, by the way, it's been promoting cannibalism lately. But it says here, Yusuke Narita says it is he is mainly addressing a growing effort to revamp Japan's age-based hierarchies. It's a hierarchy, folks. It's the, it's the privileged and the underprivileged. But there it's about age. It says, still, he has pushed the country's hottest button. Further, and it states, in interviews and public appearances, Yasuke Narita, an assistant professor of economics at Yale, this was a conservative, they'd be fired for this, I'll tell you right now, has taken on the question of how to deal with the burdens of Japan's rapidly aging society. And he said, quote, I feel like the only solution is pretty clear, he said during an on, one online program in late 2021. Quote, in the end, isn't it mass suicide and mass seppuku of the elderly? Um, he says it's the, the one solution that's pretty clear. Maybe we can call it the final solution, in fact, uh, for the elderly, as he's, he's putting it, right? And it says here, seppuku is an act of ritual disembowelment, which was a code among the, the dishonored samurai in the 19th century. Last year, when asked by a school-age boy to elaborate on his mass seppuku theories, um, where he's promoting mass suicide for the elderly, he was asked to elaborate. It says, Dr. Narita graphically described to a group of assembled students a scene from Midsummer, a 2019 horror film, in which a Swedish cult sends one, of its, sends one of its oldest members to commit suicide by jumping off a cliff. Um, that movie is very disturbing, by the way. 
but I'm aware of that scene. It, it's basically this creepy pagan cult in Sweden, in Sweden, and when a person reaches a certain age, they force that person to kill themselves. And if they do not successfully kill themselves, they're then killed by the community. Um, the professor cited that when he was asked to elaborate on what he was proposing. The idea that, you know, for the good of society, maybe after a certain age, you should just die and or be killed. Remember the stadium set up at the beginning of the video? We'll take a good look at it because this is how fast the kings of this world are setting the stage for the coming of the lawless one. Get familiar. Yahshua the Messiah is coming, and time is short. Get familiar. 